All right, so here we're going to uh, talk about finding LCDs. Uh, this is a good video if you forgot how to find a least common denominator. Um, so when we're finding a least common denominator, it's the same as an LCM, which is a least common multiple, which means what number do the two or three or however many numbers, what is the smallest number that they all multiply to? So we're going to start with the numbers 12 and 18. We're going to say that there are denominators. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to start with a prime factorization tree. So, excuse me, a prime factor tree. So if you remember prime factor trees, that's where we find what are two numbers that multiply to our number. So we've got 12, so... We can do 2 or 6, we could do 3 and 4. Um, 6 is composite, so uh, 6 is made up of 2 times 3. And then all of 2 and 3 are both prime, so then we move on to our next. For 18, we can do 3 and 6. And then 6 is 3 and 2. And then what I do from here... It does two things for us, um, but what I do is I'm going to put my factors, so 2 times 2 times 3 for my 12. Then I'm going to do the same thing for my 18, matching where I can, so 2 times 3 times 3. So these are my two factors. If they're the same, I only need one of them. So these, this pair just comes down as 1, 2, and then I'm going to bring down my next 2, and then I have this pair of 3s, but I, they're just going to come down and count as 1, and then our last 3. And the reason we do that is we want the smallest number they both multiply to, and since they both share this 2 and this 3, then we don't need both sets. We just need the one set because that's a, that's a number, or those are numbers they already share. And then from there we just multiply. So 2 times 2 is 4, and 3 times 3 is 9, and 4 times 9 gives us 36. So 36 is our least common multiple between 12 and 18. And if you think about it, um, 12 times 3 gives us this 36. And 18 times 2 gives us 36. We also see that when I look, because here is our 12 and here is our 18 and their prime factors, um, 3 is missing from my row of 12 and 2 is missing from my row of 18. Uh, and those would be the numbers that we would multiply the numerator and denominator by. So not only does this method help us find our least common denominator, but it can also help you figure out, well, what do I need to multiply my denominator and my numerator by in order to make those fractions? Excuse me. So we're going to do this another time. So uh, we're going to choose 10 and 24. I'm going to find their least common multiples. So 10 is 2 and 5. And 24 is, well, let's go 3 and 8. We could have done 6 and 4. We could have done 2 and 12. 3 is prime, but 8 is not. 8 becomes 2 and 4. And 4 is 2 and 2. And so now I'm going to write these. So we have our 10, which is 2 times 5. I'm giving that space just because I know I have all these 2's. And then we're going to do our 24, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And so then I just go down my columns. Here I have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. And so then 2 times 2 gives us 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. 
And 8 times 3 is 24. And 24 times 5, we got 20, so that'd be 10, is 120. And so that what's going to, this would be our least common denominator. Least common denominator is 120. Um, to know what I multiply the numerator and denominator by, I just look and see what's missing. So for 10, I'm missing 2, 2, and 3. And so I would multiply 10 by 12, and that's what would give me 120. And when I look at 24, I'm missing the number 5. And so then I know that I would multiply the 24 by 5, and that would give me, again, that 120. So it kind of helps you, again, with those two. Well, and you're, maybe you're like, but well, what if my numbers aren't that big? It still works even if we're doing numbers like 6 and 9. We know that 6 is 2 and 3. And we know that 9 is 3 and 3. So then we have 2 times 3 for our 6. And 3 times 3 for our 9. So all together we'd have 2 times 3 times 3. So 2 times 9 gives us 18. And our least common denominator would be 18. I would know that I need to take the 6 times 3. And that to get 9 to 18 I need to take it times 2. So it works for even our smaller numbers. Uh, this helps us there as well. So I hope that this helped you figure out LCDs or remembered how to do LCDs.